Hey everyone, so once you think you're just about done with your booklet, I'm gonna ask you one more time to go back through and double check all of your spelling. Like right now, my book cover says throg, and that's not a word, but there's no red squiggly line under it. Um, the, red the red squiggly lines only show up once you double click on that textbook text box. So please go back through your book, just double click on all of your text boxes and make sure that you don't have any red squiggly lines. The I've noticed for this project a lot of people make spelling mistakes and that can that can be something that can mess up your whole book. Okay, once your spelling's good, once your book is good, you are going to go to download, PDF print all six pages. And while you're waiting for that to download, you are going to create a new tab and go to issue dot com i s s u u dot com and issue dot com is the website that we are going to use to upload our books onto like this so that we can see books in this cool book format you are going to go to try now you want the zero dollar basic account and you're gonna click sign in with Google I am already a user, so I'm going to log back into my account. Okay. And from here, you are going to click on Add Content. And then you are going to drag your PDF that is in your downloads folder, wherever your downloads folder is, into here. Okay, and the uploading can take a little while, so while you're waiting, you are going to um, start typing in some of your details. What is the title of my book? Oh, Sheltering in Place. Okay. Type in your title. You can add a description if you want, you don't need to. For the type, it doesn't really matter, but we'll, we'll say it's a book. You're just going to leave these things empty. For availability, this is up to you. If you could make it public, I like that's completely fine. I probably wouldn't make it public if you have like really personal images in your book, but you can make it public or you can make it unlisted. And unlisted just means that you can share your link with people, but other people, if they just go on to issue.com, they won't just be able to discover your book. So either is fine, you guys choose. Leave these empty. Okay, so my book has just finished uploading, and I'm going to click Publish now, and it's ready. My publication lives here, so this is my link, and if I give this link to someone, it links you right to your book on issue, and that link is what you will be turning in on Google Classroom for this book assignment, and you can, you can share it with your friends also. Cool, now I have this book. That looks great. Okay, so I want to show you a few other things for how to use this website while we're here. If you click on, on publication, this is where you can see your book. Um, and let's say that you uploaded your book onto issue.com, but you actually did have a spelling mistake and you have to go back and redo it. I would just, um, again, go into publication and then just click replace with another file. You're going to have to go back into Canva, correct your mistake, download the PDF again, and then drag your file in here. And up here, if you go back to publications, this brings you to all of your publications. And from here, you are able to delete any publications that you don't want anymore. Okay, that's it. Good luck. And please always email me with any questions if you have them.